Danny Flexen here for seconds out with the lovely Molly May Haig, of course, and partner of Tommy TNT Fury. What's it like? You guys live together now. What's it like living with him now? He's in camp and he's training every day. Do you know what? It's it's okay. Like he's very committed and he's very dedicated. So it's not like I need to kind of push him or tell him what to do. Like he knows what he's doing. He's got his own lane and he sticks to it. So I just kind of make sure I'm supporting him, there for him, doing his washing, doing his cooking, and doing all the usual stuff. And yeah, it's fine. It's, it's good. It's good. Are you kind of getting used to seeing him a bit less as well? Because I guess after Love Island, you spent such a lot of time together, whereas now he's training two or three times a day. Um, do you know, I always, always go to training with him um, and I always watch and I'm like most nights I'm there. Um, he trains twice a day. So in the morning, he'll get up really early, leave me in bed at 6 a.m. And then when he goes training at around like seven or eight in the evening, I'm always there. So yeah, I mean, like you have to make the time to obviously see each other and stuff. It's fine. Like, he's so busy, but then so am I. So we just have to work around each other's schedules and stuff, it's fine. Notice him getting kind of tetchy or moody at all as he tries to make weight. And, and how much do you help with that process as well by cooking the right meals, researching nutrition, all of that? Well, I tried to cook him some meals, but it went a bit, um, it went a bit tits up because um, it went all viral on Twitter for me cooking him some chicken. Uh, so that was the last time I did that. <laughs> but um, no, do you know what? He's fine. Like he never takes out on me. Like obviously I know that his mood is, is going to change whilst he tries to drop weight and stuff. But you just have to understand that. Like it's his job, it's his career. So you just have to roll with the punches, I guess. <laughs> Tell us about that attempt to kind of emulate Nigella in the kitchen. What, what exactly went wrong there? Do you know what? Um, I think people didn't understand that he's on an extremely strict diet and the food that I cooked him was exactly what he asked for, exactly what his dad asked me to cook him. Um, I only cooked what he asked for. If it was down to me, I'd have made him something a lot nicer because I didn't like it either. But, but yeah, I think um, people like to laugh at pretty much anything that we do, but it's, you know... How much of an adjustment is it living with a boxer? Because it means, you know, you have to be a bit more disciplined. You can't go out as much. You have to eat healthily all the time. Do you know what? It's fine because I don't go out anyway. I don't drink and neither does he. So it's not like it's really like a massive adjustment. Um, and I'm pr I eat pretty healthy anyway. Like, it's fine. Like, I'm, I'm sporty. He's sporty. Like, it just works. Like, I'm like probably like the ideal person to be with him right now because it's like, you know, I'm, I understand it all. I get it. Hopefully you'll still be the ideal person when his career finishes as well. Oh, you know. like, I'm the ideal person for him to be with because obviously like, I just get it completely. But yeah, we're, um, we're just really good at the moment. And obviously like, I'm just sticking by him and just making sure I can do everything that he needs me to do right now. And for what he was telling us when we did the previous interview, you and his dad have become pretty close as well to the point that he's excluded some of the time. <laughs> yeah, no, um, me and John get along really well because obviously I go training so much with him. Um, and I always watch and support him. I think John understands like how much I want Tommy to do well in his sport, and how much you know I'm in it for the long run. And I think at the start, you know, as everyone probably thought as well, a bit skeptical, like, oh, is it real? Is it not? Whatever. But I think everyone can see now that Tommy and I are the real deal and, and here to stay. So I think John really respects me, and I respect him, and it's a nice situation we walk around on. So it's good. Are you confident enough now with the sport that when you're sitting there watching his training, you throw out a few tips, you know, shout out some advice? Do you know what? Like, I won't, I won't lie. When I was in Love Island, I had no idea anything about boxing. I didn't know what was going on with it. I didn't know anything. But now I'm pretty, like, confident that I know, I know, like, the rules. I know what's right, what's wrong. Like, I know pretty much all of it now. So it is, yeah, it's good. I'm pretty knowledgeable on it now, I think. <laughs> yeah, like, telling him to snap out his jab a bit more and things like that. Yeah, like, even when we turned up today, he was like, oh, I'm tired. I was like, well, wake up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> wake up. But, uh, no, he's good, yeah. Um, and what about the training itself? Because he was telling us before you started doing a bit of kind of shadow boxing bits and pieces. That was, that was a load of rubbish. I don't, um, I, that's his thing. I mean, I go to the gym sometimes, but no, that's his thing. I'm, I'm like obviously there to watch him, but I would never take up boxing myself. But I think that's my thing, but yeah. And tell us a bit about yourself and your own plan. What are you going to be doing kind of career-wise going forward? What, what are your plans for yourself? Um, for me, I think it's just obviously doing what I'm doing now. So do, I'm working with Pretty Little Thing a lot. Um, we're just renewing a contract with them. So we're going to be carrying on working with them through the new year. Tommy and I are going to the Maldives for New Year as well. So looking forward to a nice holiday. Um, just working really hard. Like I take my work so seriously and, and I think it's important that I do my thing and Tommy does his. And at the end of the day, we come together. So I think like, I'm so busy and he's so busy. And I'm just focusing on obviously my job as well. So. What are you going to be like when he fights next as well? Are you going to be kind of screaming at him from ringside? Are you going to be that sort of partner? Do you know what? I don't, I don't know. I think I'm obviously going to... It'll be the first time watching him fight professionally and properly in a ring like with an audience and stuff. We'll be on the 25th of December. So I think then I'll know how I'm going to react when I see it because I've never seen it before, him doing it properly. Um, but obviously I think I'm going to be scared and nervous and I'll probably cry. But, you know, as long as he's all right and it's what he loves doing, then what can I say? Do you know what I mean?
And just before we let you go, I'm sure most people know these things already, but for people that want to follow you on various social media, how can they get hold of you? What are your handles? So it's Instagram's at Molly May Haig, Twitter at Molly May Haig, and I think, well, YouTube, Molly May on YouTube. So yeah, that's where you'll see all me and Tommy behind the scenes doing all stupid stuff. It's good. Brilliant. All right, well, we really appreciate your time and we look forward to the workout.